Mona Lisa's Hand There was a rather large reproduction of the Mona Lisa hanging in the art room at my junior high. For some reason, the first time I saw it, I didn't like it very much. There's something about it that doesn't feel right. That was what I thought every time I was in the art room. But still, even though I didn't like it, I found my eyes always drawn to it. And I always found myself looking at that faint smile of hers. I wonder if anyone else felt the same way. Around the end of my first year there, a strange rumour started to spread around school. After everyone went home for the day, and the school fell quiet, the Mona Lisa painting would start laughing and crying. No, there's no way. I pretended not to believe it, but inside, I couldn't be quite so sure. Then one day, after school. Bye bye, see ya tomorrow. I said goodbye to my friends in front of the school, and then I realised I'd forgotten something. My art supplies. They were important to me, being hand-me-downs from my mother. I ran back to the classroom, but they weren't there. They must have been in the art room then. I ran up the stairs to the art room on the second floor. Then, as I went to open the door, I heard something. It was a faint laugh, or maybe a cry. Either way, I was scared and ended up going straight home. Hey, guess what? I said when I got home. I told my mother what happened, and she smiled at me like that Mona Lisa painting. Don't be silly, was all she would say. The next day, I went to school a little earlier than usual and went straight to the art room. First, I put my ear to the door to make sure I couldn't hear anything. Then, I opened it, and making sure not to look at the Mona Lisa painting, I looked for my stuff. But as I did, I could feel a gaze on my back coming from the direction of the painting. There it is, I said before I could stop myself and move towards the shelves. It was old, but the sturdy wooden box of art supplies were there waiting for me. Relieved, I grabbed it with both hands, and then, suddenly, hands reached around my neck from behind. What are you doing? I, I can't breathe. The hands squeezed with frightening force, and I was almost unable to breathe. I struggled to throw them off, but it was no use. As I writhed in pain, I realized something. Right behind me was that Mona Lisa painting. I'm scared. I hit the hands around my neck with my art supplies box as hard as I could. Then, finally, I was able to escape. During lunch that day, I told two of my friends about what happened and asked them to come back to the art room with me. And what do you think was there? Blood dripped from Mona Lisa's left hand. She was holding it with her right hand, and that faint smile was still on her lips. <laughs>